Welcome back everyone, Lucky Lack 360 here, back with more Out of the Park Baseball 22 Miami Marlins franchise, and we made a huge deal. We made two deals, actually. We sent uh, Nick Cassianos to the Dodgers for Scott Barlow, Caleb Ferguson, Zach McKinstry, Nick Robertson, and Maddox Bruns. That is a huge deal. And then we also sent um, Aaron Fletcher, Andres Munez, Jeff Brigham, Danny Fernandez, and Harata for J.J. Goss, Carter Jensen, and Eric Pena. So I feel like those two deals greatly improve our chances, actually, because while we lost our main production in the lineup, we're getting a lot younger, and we're getting a lot um, higher potential players. We dumped a lot of salary off the books, frees up $30 million dollars, for us which we can now explore further in the free agent market and uh, we improved our bullpen we have Scott Barlow as our closer Floro as setup and I'm going to put Ferguson in the setup role as well in fact Ferguson should be our eighth inning guy and Floro can be our seventh inning guy and I think that greatly greatly improves this team and Pablo Lopez should be in the rotation too but uh, that is how this team is looking, and I really think those moves help us a lot. So, Hawan also signed with us. Briefly, that happened at the end of last episode. Forgot to mention that. But this team is looking a lot better, to say the least. But there's still some improvements that need to happen. We need starting pitching. The starters were really bad for us. So we need to uh, get Bauer, hopefully we can. And we need to look at some other options too. Maybe Sonny Gray, although that's a little bit risky. Talon is available. Alex Wood, that would be an interesting move. Bring in Alex Wood. What does he want? Uh, he only wants six million. I actually really like this deal. I think that should be a team option. Okay, he wants a buyout. We'll, we'll offer him that. That's not a terrible deal. So we'll give that offer, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Bauer uh, is considering the offer, so hopefully that works out. Yankees want to give us Trey Sweeney, Jason Dominguez, and Alexander Vargas for Dylan Floro? Yes, actually, I will take that. <clears throat> yeah, we lost Floro, but we just got, like, the best prospects from the Yankees. So I'm going to do that all day long. That That's an awesome trade offer. That is one of the best trade offers I've ever gotten, to be honest. Uh, so Takuchi is uh, on the team, so we'll call him up put him in long relief forgot about him but he got a brief stint in AAA last year didn't call him up for some reason so we're gonna get into the rule five draft here i'm gonna go ahead and skip a lot of this and we'll get started with the 2023 season all right so it looks like we got alex wood that's amazing we got him to sign the three-year deal a very value uh piece that we got there uh, so I don't know how I'm going to fit him on the roster. Well, we do have two available on the 40-man. So Tekuchi can go down. He's on our 40-man now. We're going to put Alex Wood at the top. We'll put Alcantara there, Sanchez, and then Thompson. And I think Trevor Rogers and Braxton Garrett will be in the minor league system. Now, if we got Bauer, that would be... Perfect. I mean, Bauer would really make this team a lot more competitive. And keep in mind, we'll still have some money. And it looks like we got Trevor Bauer. So we got the two big names, I think. And uh, that's huge. That's awesome. So that, Zach Thompson can go down. We're just going to throw Bauer right in there. And I think you got to put Bauer at number one and Wood at number two. 
Now, Bauer did have a bad year last year, so I'm hoping that's not the case this year, but you never know uh, with this game. But hopefully, uh, these additions will make us competitive. Hall of Fame voting results. Big Poppy gets in. Very nice. Jeff Kent got dropped. Everybody else is okay except for Weaver Street and Ellsbury, which they shouldn't be in anyways. Kind of a thin list now. I think Beltron, Sheffield, Ramirez, those are kind of obvious. Billy Wagner, Franco. Everybody else is kind of a questionable vote. Uh, it's kind of hard to judge right now, but we'll see. So we're going to get through this remaining offseason here. Financial update, we have 102 million available for spending that's fine all right we're getting into spring training now and uh jonathan lucroy decided to retire so that kind of sucks trade proposal from the reds they want to give us torres ray and ozuna for alcantara and i'm going to reject that alcantara is not available we are not going to trade alcantara not right now Maybe if we get in the final year of his deal and he's not good or we can't extend him, then we could trade him. All right, spring training. So we are finally going to be getting 2023 started with this new team. It's going to be interesting. This is how the team looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next one.